Alright, um, this video I will explain about how to differentiate exponential function. At the same time, I think I will in I will include the how to integrate exponential function as well because when both things come together, a lot of students tend to be like very confusing because actually one of my Facebook students asked me to make this video for so long already. I'm so sorry for him, but anyways, finally I have time to make one video for him. Alright, so okay. For exponent, when, when you see exponent, you, you know this is something to do with e, right? It's something to do with ex maybe. Alright, so let's start from the very easy example because in this video I will just give you a lot of example and then from the example I hope you can actually see the pattern. Okay, if I differentiate ex and then if you check any of your textbook or reference book, the answer will tell uh, the, the book will actually tell you the, the answer is ex. Alright, and then and then when you differentiate e2x, the textbook will tell you is 2e2x. Okay, so what happens here? What is really happening here? So basically it's like this. When you do the differentiation for exponent, what you need to do is you have to differentiate the power. You differentiate the power and then you move to the front and then the power will never change for the exponent function. That means whatever power over here, when you write, it will, it will be exactly the same. The power over here never change. Just, okay, if I differentiate x, you just imagine if you differentiate x, what will you get? You actually, you will get one. So that means I will move the one to the front here, and then one is multiplied with ex because the power, you will never change. So one multiply ex, basically you will get back the ex. This is the reason why you differentiate ex, you will get back the ex. Okay, so if I differentiate e2x, so, then you have to imagine what will you get if you differentiate 2x. You basically you will get a 2, isn't it? So you just move the 2, you, you, you differentiate 2x, you will get a 2, you just move the 2 to the front, and then the power will always stay the same. So it's still 2e2x. Okay, so if I want to if I want to make this example uh slightly harder, so what I can do is maybe I just trying to make this the power look a bit com complicated. Maybe I say 7 minus 2x. Yeah, a lot of students see something like this and then they, they will like panic. So like, wow, why, why the power is so, so, so weird one? Or something like that. Okay, so what you can do is very easy. Ba basically, you just imagine if you differentiate, if you differentiate 7 minus 2x, what will you get? You actually will get negative 2. Because the 7 is just gone, you will get 0 for 7 because without x. Alright, so this one you get negative 2. So you just write the negative 2 at the front and then you just copy whatever you have here. E7 minus 2x. Alright, so okay, I give you more and more examples. So let's say example if I have the something like E uh three uh maybe x squared plus 3 pi. Alright, so if I do the question like this, so I will just differentiate the x squared plus 3 pi. 3 pi is just a number, okay? So you do you don't need to panic about this. So you you just differentiate x squared, you will give you will get 2x. So you get 2x and then you copy this one, e x squared plus 3 pi. Then you will you will get the answer. This is how we differentiate the exponent. Okay, maybe I give you a few more examples about differentiate. Okay, so if I differentiate, what if um I have I mean something like this uh x square minus seven x. So you just imagine if you differentiate x square minus seven x, what will you get? You basically get two x minus seven, isn't it? Then you copy whatever you have is here, x square minus seven x. Alright. So if the question want to like more difficult, maybe he, he change your power in term of trigo. Maybe it's something like. Uh, cos 2x oh, of course over here you just need to make sure you know how to differentiate cos 2x when you differentiate cos 2x what will you get you basically you will get something like negative sine negative 2 sine 2x alright so yeah this one maybe I will make another video for trigo lah, because I'm not going to explain too much about this thing alright so so over here because you differentiate cos 2x you will get negative 2 sine 2x so you just write something like negative 
2 sine 2x and then copy the whole thing e cos 2x you just remember whatever things uh, you differentiate you put on the front here okay this is what happens for differentiation uh, differentiation for ex uh, exponential function so just now I said I will actually explain a little bit on the integration not a little bit <laughs> I will basically explain what how how to integrate the expo exponential function all right so okay let me just move the question over here and then I will erase some of it because you don't need this and then okay so okay now if I want to do the integration okay I use back the same example now if I integrate e x dx I basically I will get back the e x plus c all right so if I integrate e 2x dx what I will get is I will get the e 2x will remain the same but I will get over 2 plus c okay so for integrations uh, the only difference be uh, between integration and differentiation uh, for exponential for e is just for differentiation whatever you differentiate uh, the power you differentiate already you move to the front but then for integration you move to the denominator mean you move to the bottom this is how I always use the broken English to tell to tell my student okay so if I, if I integrate something like e 7 minus 2x dx then I will get the same thing e 7 minus 2x but I differentiate this one I will get negative 2 within it I write at the bottom plus c so all the example at the uh, all the example below here is the same so so therefore if I integrate e cos 2x dx so what I will get is I will copy the whole thing e cos 2x and then I over I will over I differentiate the cos 2x right I get negative 2 sine 2x 2 sine 2x and then plus c all right yeah this is how you uh, do the exponential integration and differentiation but before I end this video uh, I, I just add one, uh, one more thing because some student when 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 you see something like this x e maybe 2x okay you you should know this one when e and x together this one is the product rule you must be very careful that means you have to do something like uv and apply the product rule because the, pro, the product rule actually tell you what so the product rule for differentiation i mean the product rule basically if you have the you want to differentiate you have two term u and v what you will get is you copy the u and then you multiply you differentiate the v plus you copy the v you multiply you differentiate the u of course i will use the example here to actually give you some idea okay let me just erase here okay if i differentiate this one so first thing this i assume this is u this is v All right i copy the u and then i differentiate the v, v. i differentiate v mean that's me i differentiate this one i get 2e 2x and then I plus I differentiate I, I copy the v which is e to x I differentiate the u differentiate x I will get 1 all right then what I will do is maybe both also have e to x I will factorize out the e to x and then I will left 2x plus 1 okay this is my final answer okay so this kind of example you just need to understand is this product rules because sometimes it will be quotient rule okay so yeah that's all for this differentiation for exponential function video if you have question you can post a comment below if you like this video please help me to share or give me a thumb up for this video if you don't like this video you can let me know also all right anyways thanks for watching